All right, let's show what happens when you brake launch with an all-wheel drive. So right now, stop left switch is on because I'm on the on the brake. I'm off the brake. Stop left switch is off. I'm on the brake. Now I'm about to give it some throttle and watch the which I can get RPMs on here. But anyway, but watch the ETS solenoid is going to start applying torque to the front wheels. This is 2,000 RPM. Uh, then look at that while I'm moving. There's zero. It's in rear wheel drive mode right now. I'm giving it some gas. Whenever you give it a little gas, it always gives some power to the front wheel. I let off the gas. Uh, I can just watch it. I'm trying not to run into nothing. Let's see what my throttle application is. Uh, what the, how much power is pushing to the front. I'm all up a hill right now. So when you just sit and it's putting a little bit of power on the front wheel, just a tad. All right, let me see, I'm on the gas. Give it a little bit of gas. Let's see. Now, like you, just as advertised, it goes in a rear wheel drive mode when you're just cruising. Give it some gas, and then it pushes some power to the front. Um, still breaking around this curve. Try not to wake up the neighbors. So I'm just cruising, so you see, it's not really sending any power to the front. Come to this stop sign, then I'm a I'm a kind of hard launch from this stop sign. Oh, I got a car up here. Uh, wait till they go by. So we're gonna, gonna kind of hard launch off of here. So we'll see. So I'm gonna give it a little bit of gas. see what it does so this is why y'all burning up that fluid and getting the temperature air is because it's remember it's a wet clutch with a solenoid and when you launching it's pushing Remember, this is a it's a wet clutch system. Yeah, sorry about the call, y'all. But since it's a wet clutch system, when the solenoid is putting pressure on the fluid, you know, higher pressure equal more heat. So y'all end up burning up the fluid. So if you're gonna launch the car, don't be holding it all day for the launch. Just you know, get up to whatever RPM you want to get up to, and then and then launch. And then you won't heat the fluid because I, I launch my car all the time and I've never heated the fluid. And then also I'll make the suggestion of, uh, as I always try to tell people, is uh, bring your fluid up to uh, upgrade it to Matic S, Nissan Matic S. Uh, it's, the, it's the replacement fluid for Matic J. And that will help with... Uh, with being able to handle uh, more pressure and heat. It's the same fluid that's in the transmission, and that's why they can do a, a, a maintenance-free transmission. This is one of the reasons because of that Matic S fluid is so good. So I'll be switching my Matic S now that I just hit 30K. So 
I'm about to go up to Matic S. Uh, probably this weekend. All right, y'all. Later.